Makra Shankranti, the Harvest Festival. Wishing you all a very, very happy Makra Shankranti. Makra, Makra Shankranti, the Hartika Subhashegula, we say it in Kannada. They call it the festival, the Harvest Festival. Please try to look into this one. Two versions of harvesting. One is the materialistic harvesting. That is which came after the Industrial Revolution. That you work for somebody. And what did you get it? You put it in the bank and bank converts it. Which you have got no body touch, no physical touch. It is just artificial. But here the harvest festival is you invest your money through your blood and your sweat with a few grains into the land beautifully planted today one farmer told me i have put only half a kg of horse gram i spread it out and i got 25 kg in two months that's how the whole family that's the first time the family we sit together, eat together, pray together, grow together. The first time in the family which works together, bump to bump, singing and dancing, and then plowing the land. When you, they plow the land, the leg goes right into the soil. That is the time they find the power of the body. No fat, only skeletal muscle. When the whole body gets into the mud, the mud sucks all the poisons out of the body rejuvenated and they look into the sun they look into the rain they need rain water during the rainy season only this is proud beautiful and then they divert the water so much we call it now rainwater harvesting but that time they knew how to have the rainwater harvesting so that the water goes into all these beautiful ones the seas and when it sprouts wow it's a festival orgasmic experience of seeing it is sprouting and when they throw the half a kg of or a small handful of grains into the or they plant it beautifully they can they are inviting a huge amount of pigeons and varieties of birds 90 percent of the birds eat can you believe this is just inviting the guest and when they invite the beautiful birds to come and they hardly chase them out they said they are happy that the birds came why you know when the birds eat 90 percent of the grains where they put it up and only from the 10 percent they are going to get back the 10 percent becomes so powerful because when the birds come to eat they put all the droppings and the droppings power the manual power is so much hence in India Aditi Devo Bhava because the more the relatives comes more they will drop the droppings not the toilet but they keep the feet and the droppings the, the gospel of truth from the mouth and the looks that strengthens the house so powerfully and the grains when it grows and fills it up one grain into thousands and thousands of grains can you believe after 90 percent the birds seed yes and the birds drop all the droppings and from there it grows to beautiful seeds and when they get it when when, when it is growing itself they pray to the gods for, to give the rain Go, the prayer means they, they know how to connect it. They know what time the rain will come and what time to save the water and to divert it beautifully. They deeply involved the next three to four months, mostly two and after three months. And they crop it up and that, that the, the beautiful what they get it. Now what this you know, materialistic world people get it from the bank is a small portion of the interest balance interest goes to somebody else but here the crop is immediately shared shared as a festival harvest festival they shared to the temple to the ashram to rakum schools yes they come lavishly give that also the 90 percent they gave to the birds 
and again when the crop comes 90% is they keep only 10% still they are healthy wealthy and wise because they got all the family together to work and the family enjoys by making varieties of dishes and the family enjoys by distributing and seeing everybody as a festival that is the time they do the kite flying when they have the game like that to fly the kite everybody looks up ah kite flying then the, the kite is on the top they start pulling pulling towards the ground to pulling towards the ground telling wherever you go how much high you go you are grounded to this foundation and this is where we are planted to multiply it up this is where we planted to learn mathematics from 1 into 1 is not 2 here 1 into into 1 is a million of grains there the math 1 into 1 2 into 2 is 4 here the multiplication the mathematics breaks into pieces you cannot even look kite fly the family which works together how bump to bump scrubs and takes back but and then the 10% what they keep it they eat for the whole year <laughs> happily connected to the sun and sankranti the sun moves from the south to the north coldest season they wear all the black dresses and in rakum school we celebrate with the cows giving bath to the cows because the cow dog was the manure for growing the harvest yes all the beautiful vegetable fruits organic fruits in rakums are akumji ashram for the children and for the neighborhood people who more with distributed them cows are beautiful of course they clean daily but on that day they are decorated tomorrow tomorrow is the fest today is the fest. yes today 15th uh, january we are going to celebrate from 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock all the people come you give a beautiful bath dress up the cows the workers are dressed up a small puja have beautiful sweet meat out of rice and that's all sankranti is all about to get the family together to get the neighbors together and to see give a send off to the winter and then we welcome the hot season happy sankranti to you all